Hello and welcome to BKT Podcast with me, Baron, Cammy, that other guy, and Thrawn's that other other guy. And so we're just here to talk about a bunch of nerd stuff, so let's just start yeah, things up. nerd stuff. Yeah. So let's start off with uh, gaming, as we usually do. And uh, yeah, just it, by the time this goes up, the Titan mode uh, community transmission will be out, but... They have already released the one on the... For Jury what? Team, for what? Game. What game? Uh, <laughs> Battlefront 2. Oh, yeah, that game. Yeah, the one you don't play. Dude, the yeah. topics are like right there. Check your topics. So unprofessional. Yeah, dude. It's right there. I even pinned it in everything. Yeah. But, but I, I, I still didn't... I still didn't know because it just says reinforcements. I didn't know what that was. So, uh. yeah. Yeah, that's on you. <laughs> but yeah, I don't. So like this time thing, isn't it? Just like it, it's like twenty one forty twos, um, Battlefield twenty one forty twos mode, right? Well, I mean, like that's what people assume because it's named after it. But I thought, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, cause... they were taught. I heard like some dude that is like breaking the news. He was talking about. It, and he said this is gonna be like really big, like bigger than like Galactic Assault, which is like forty players. So. Hmm. 60 players? 64 players? 64 players, yeah. That's pretty Actually, nice. why 64? Is that just like a nice number? No- is it because it's like a nice number? Mm. <laughs> or is it just like something to do with like... The- it's because it's a full stack in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean like... Well, I mean, yeah. It's probably like a balanced number. No, I mean, like, I, I I was thinking, like, would it have something to do with, like, the compute or, like, like the, the computer itself, like, the computers itself or whatever, like, the server running things or 64. Even, I or I guess it's just, it's just, like, a nice number. Yeah. I think maybe it's just, like, as much players that they could probably force into it right now. I'm not sure. 8 yeah. squared, 64, yeah. Hmm. I really want to see how it looks. They say, like, there's going to be, like, multiple stuff going on, so it's probably going to be, like, fucking anxiety for me trying to figure out what I want to do. Yeah. Um. I mean, because, like, if it is the capture point thing, just thinking back to, like, original Battlefront, where you have, like, one or two people just running around the back lines, capturing the points while everyone's fighting. But I don't know how it's they're going to, like, lay it out. Because, like, I guess, like, my gripe with uh, Galactic Assault right now is it basically just funnels all of the players in the map into these small areas and then it's clustered with grenades and heroes and just spam and you know that's not yeah. really fun that's <laughs> why so i don't play galactic as well because i just started trying to get into it um recently and i kept getting matched on fucking crate and it's a really bad map i really don't like crate mm. yeah. it's like it's like an open field with like a bunch of like uh out of bound barriers like all over the place so it's like you can't even like directly come into contact with the enemy you have to like snipe them from across the map and it's just like the walkers take forever to advance forward to take into the next stage it's like when you do get there the next stage is like in the dark so you can barely see anything and it's just like grenades and like sneaky fuckers uh, running around and then there's people trying to play ATSTs in there it's- really yeah because like the only time i ever play is to do the uh if i get a daily for playing a certain number of matches or kills and it's just like you get like two minutes in and someone's already like jumping around with a hero just demolishing everyone but also the the crate speeders are pretty shitty Hmm. i mean not like playing as one but like like playing on the battlefield and some fucker like spe- like it's like riding around in the speeder and he just kicks up like a cloud of dust in front of you and you can't see where you are but the enemies like especially snipers can like see you through the smoke and just kill you hmm. yeah i mean i don't know like uh i guess the other part to it as well just uh back to the topic is the being the reinforcements is the infiltrators for clones and separatists and you know, P- it's like arcs and arcs and BX. The 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 dro- commando droids, right? Yeah. yeah, the BX. And so like And they're like different, right? 
Yeah. No, are they the same? Uh, the, wait, is it really the arcs? Yeah. Yeah, it's arcs. Oh, I thought it was commandos. Cause like, no, they no. That's what I don't know. Talking about. about the difference between commandos and arcs. <sighs> commandos know, and arcs? Well, it depends. Arcs are like a uh, recon, pretty much, and like they're they, like they're not born specifically for it. Rather, like they prove their like worthiness on the battlefield. Well, no, then... because like in in canon, in canon, arcs are different from legends. That's the thing. Oh, so, so like in canon, canon, arcs are like they're 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 like raised to that. They're like promoted to arc. Yeah. So they're just good clone boys. <laughs> yeah, and then and then in canon, we don't know anything about the commandos, but we can probably ass- like I guess we could maybe assume it might be something similar to like. How legends how it was in like the game at least yeah and because like it certainly borrows enough with like you, you have uh... oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> sorry <Demonic spacing. laughs> that was a... yeah <laughs> uh, it's just like uh because you have delta squad and then you have gregor and that's pretty much it for like commando in canon yeah well they have uh i don't know they'll ever like just look at it but they had that mobile game uh probably not arena. probably they had, not they had clone commandos in there and they were like i'm pretty like, sure force arena has like revan in it doesn't it yeah it does no. or is that... yeah so it doesn't matter it's just that that, that no, that's just like that's, a game that that's galaxy of heroes force okay arena. that's galaxy force arena okay. something else yeah, i i severely good. doubt like these these games that they ever that they're gonna pull from it if they do i would be surprised because, like, yeah, these but... obscure ones that no one gives a shit about, except for, like, a niche population. And they're yeah, kind of, like, it, yeah. It has it had clone commandos, because it's, like, strictly, like, Disney content. Like, if it isn't in the Disney canon, it's not in that game. Well, I mean, yeah, they exist in canon. Yeah, but they, like, they kind of, like, give, like, a something to it. You know, they're, they're not just, like, clone commandos. Like, they have, like, specific weapons. They're, like, wielding shotguns. So maybe later down the line they might, like... I had clone commandos with shotguns. They only carry shotguns yeah. at all times, in all yeah. distances, at all ranges. That reminds me of like playing Red Alert Three, and it's like the main infantry unit for the Allies was like a guy with a riot shield and a shotgun. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's it. It's like what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, uh, I don't know, because like they had kind of the same gameplay as with the Jin in Battlefront One that you had different like attachments and configurations because that's mm-hmm. what you kind of did in the you know republic commando is that you have like a rifle that you can turn into a sniper you can turn into anti-tank or you know just mm-hmm. and I, I kind of imagine that's what they would give the abilities but i don't know i guess we'll have to see because like people are saying and they're like hey we need commandos now we need uh droidicas when like don't they already have like there's like a bajillion prequel content already yeah, for the that, game yeah. cuz all i've heard is prequel content yeah. that's it yeah because we're getting so, like, these i mean it, they they kind of owe us because like the original battlefront one didn't i mean not the original but like the ea one didn't have like any prequel content at all and then they launched this game also without prequel content yeah but i don't know like is it is it at the same level as like the, does the other the, the other eras have like already have like a lot of content is Not that really. is that why like even yeah the then like writers for um the sequel trilogy era i'm yeah. pretty sure there's only like two on each side they gotta balance it out i mean like i feel like the thing with the sequel trilogy era as well is like i'm not sure how much they they, they they're simply restricted by like what they can't reveal hmm. what they're not allowed or like it's like oh we want to like have this thing it's like oh no it won't fit our our mysterious canon that we won't tell you about says story group it's just kind of like mostly because the sequel trilogy doesn't have like a whole lot that you can make maps out of like well yeah because it's it's fairly empty right now the reason why it's empty is because there's not a lot of other eu content being produced for that era during like that time and the reason for that is because nine is not out yet and they are just completely shutting down everything until nine comes out and like that's that's the assumption that once nine comes out like then everything then it'll be all happy eu time like like more like books and comics and stuff like that for that era once like the trilogy is completed completed but that's just the assumption obviously but it's just like you're keeping everything on lockdown because they don't want any chance that like what 
the film director changes at like the last minute, like contradicts some established something established in like a book. Yeah, so I think that's their reasoning. And of course, that's going to lead to just like a very empty, relatively empty period, even as the movies are taking place in it. Because like the movies, all the Star Wars movies, like they don't, they don't actually fill out the world that that much. It's just kind of like, yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of the Battlefront Two players are like the Disney haters, so they don't really give a shit about sequel trilogy map. Well, yeah, that too. That's that's that too. There's no profit in in or like no appeal. Uh, it's not as much appeal in like going for that era when your fans already don't like give a shit. I can't wait for or actively say, dislike uh, it. Kaz. Uh, Rose and Jar Jar. <laughs> All at once. Yeah. And then no, it should be. Oh uh, man, but April's already coming up. They should have announced. They should have announced this on April. Yeah, like <laughs> April I said this to a friend, round. but like on April, just like just on April first, they should have it like Anakin, like has like a like a speed debuff on sandy maps, and Obi Wan gets like a slightly. Higher power whenever he gets onto like more high, um, elevated ground. Nah, That's but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of like the Blizzard and like Riot will have like those April Fools patch notes. They're always fun. We removed Hero Brian from Overwatch. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like at least. For- from my, because we have like the reinforcements and the Titan motor, as far as we know, they're exclusive to Clone Wars. So, like the, pro- so, the problem is just like, like there's no d- rotation for it. Is like the uh, prequel trilogy maps. Like you don't always get them. You get original trilogy maps. You get sequel trilogy maps. And I think like it wouldn't be as big of an issue if they had like a prequel trilogy like rotation that you could be able to play with that content all the time. So when is it even? When is it even coming out? Uh, should be 26. 26, then, like, is there, like, not a lot of information about the specifics so far? Well, they, they already... I mean, like, a month. Yeah, they already put out the transmission on how the reinforcements, like, their cards and everything, but, yeah, Titan oh. is supposed to be... I mean, at the, again, at the uh, time no. of uploading, like, this will be, like, Titan either before just keeps getting time. pushed back. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's just some problems they're having internally. But, I don't know. I have a feeling like, out, like since they, they said it in November, and then they pushed it back to February, then they pushed it back to March, so I feel like they probably have it all set by now. Unless they do push it back, which would be disappointing. People are, like, speculating just, like, a little, like, after the, the Titan update, like, development is really going to start slowing down because it's not as profitable because this game doesn't really make as much money mm. so that's kind of big sad it might like leave off on just the titan mode it might just be like one that maybe and then just go to battlefront 3 for when 9 comes out after 9 comes out mm. and then things settle a bit i probably won't make a battlefront 3 they'll probably make like battlefront old mobile remake. old republic remake oh dude not bad mm. idea. No, dude, but like after after this whole Resident 2 Evil thing, like Resident Evil 2, the Resident Evil 2 remake thing, like it's like I feel like remaking a game like the feels like the bar has been raised at least to me. Like I had to, I don't even like or play Resident Evil 2, but like just like it's really good. watching it and like like how the remake and like how they made it and like all the things they changed, it's like God. If they make like a Kotor remake, like they, they, I f- they should, they should like at least strive. But they, I, I don't think they would. That's the thing. No. They should strive to like you know, update the combat system entirely, and shit like that. But like I, I just get the feeling that they won't. <laughs> Wait, wasn't there like supposed to be like a combat update for Battlefront Two, like lightsaber battle? somebody mentioned something like that they're gonna make lightsaber battles better instead of it just being like keep attacking until someone drops their block yeah i think that might be coming at the um same time maybe or just 
maybe a bit later than the Titan update, but they did mention that that's the other priority they have besides Titan mode. God, I can't wait. I wish it would fix, like, Obi-Wan. Like, he has, like, this weird glitch. Like, if you're, like, stunned after blocking, he can't block again. Like, it, it's, like his block meter, like, depletes, like, his stamina depletes, but it, he never blocks. Like, the animation never plays, and you take normal damage. So. Yeah, it's with a couple heroes. They, they've uh, acknowledged it, but it's basically, like, in order to do it, you have to deplete your stamina by attacking, and then it'll let you block again. That's stupid. Yeah. Kind of like stayed away from lightsaber heroes because of that. But yeah. But then you, you when you're playing as a gun hero, you're basically fucked if like they get you like against the wall or something. Yeah. Because rolling only does so much, especially like the characters like Anakin, which can just like fuck you from a distance. Hmm. I don't like Anakin. Fuck Anakin. <laughs> And with that, uh, moving on to, uh, the Master Chief Collection. Okay. Coming to PC so now. I play Halo. Yeah. Yeah. So now this is up your alley. As opposed to about... I mean... Yeah. Microsoft has a deal with the Nintendo. Will the Master Chief Collection be coming to the Nintendo Switch? Wow. Just dropping some juicy details about... Okay, I thought for a moment, I thought you were serious, and I was like, that's oh, not gonna work. <laughs> like, they, they said they were gonna be, like, working with Nintendo. Sorry. But not the Master Chief Collection, that was just me bullshitting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're dropping it on Steam, right? Yeah. That's it. Okay, yeah. I can't wait for the mods. They're probably gonna make, like, a Star Wars mod. Maybe. For, like, Halo, is it Halo 3? Maybe. See, like, I'm kind of, I'm a bit of a pleb because I've only played Combat Evolve with my brother on the original okay. Xbox, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm just excited they're going to have all of them, all of them up to, it's up to, it's up to four, right? Like, everything. So you have Reach, the the main numbered ones, and then ODST. Hmm. I think so. I think. So all of them. That's going to be great. And then, like, it's going to be on PC, so you have, like, all this weird modding shit. Of the good ones. Presumably. I, I haven't read that much about on it, but it's just like, yeah, it seems exciting. Reach is good. I can, like, complain about, like, oh, the lore contradiction, blah, 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 but, like, it's still decent. Yeah, a friend of mine, like, thinks it's ruined, like, Reach is ruined from because of that whole, like, not canon with all, like, the rest of Reach. It doesn't line up with Fall of Reach. Fall of Reach came out before Combat Evolved, technically. It was published before the game came out, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But it's like... And like, it's considered... It's considered like Fall of... Eric Nyland, the author, he like wrote a few of the early books and they're considered like... Kind of like, he's like the Zon of uh, Halo EU lore. Hmm. So it's kind of like... Yeah. Not the blues on, I take it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. but then, Go ahead. yeah, he's he's just so his so Reach ended up kind of overriding or just yeah not meshing with how the fall of Reach was depicted in that book. <laughs> so yeah, I think three, but then three four three when they took over, like they they seemed to put like a lot of work into trying like justify all the contradictions like a lot of lore like patchwork with like duct tape and gorilla glue and shit like that so it's just like i mean like i can give three for three credit for that like i i complain about like halo 5's writing but it's just like you know three four three isn't all bad halo 4 was half good of a story uh, there are directions like not all terrible it's different and sometimes it's just like it's just the fact that like it's changed and they replace like the old art style with their new art style that's like even if their new art style isn't that bad it's like they, they, they just replace the old one it's kind of like but I like the old one you know hmm. yeah and I guess like the other thing that people were happy about this is because of uh, Epic Games holding Metro's next title instead of you know oh yeah because, like, trying to step it up between the exclusives now. Yeah. But. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, people are really mad at Epic and anyone who, like, 
makes it ex exclusive on Epic, right? It seems like that. Yeah, because nobody wants to have like 15 different launchers for a game. But like... I mean, like, I, I, I don't want that, but I also, like, it would be, it, it, it's just, it, it seems expected to me. Like, I, I, I was expecting this to happen at some point. I knew Steam, like, at, for the time, it had, like, a sort of monopoly on, like, all these different games all on Steam. But, like, ultimately, you're gonna have, you're gonna have companies realize that they can do the same thing, too as Valve did, and they're gonna try it. It's like with Disney and the streaming service. Yeah. We already have, like, Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, uh, the, uh, and now the Disney thing, and DC, and, like, you know, there's gonna be more. And that's just, that's just reality. And, like, I think it's worse for the TV stuff because you have to, like, pay for the subscription. Yeah. yeah. Whereas, like, the, the Epic Store and that shit, like, that's, that's still free, right? Like, to, to at least have those apps. You can, like, choose the games you want to buy, but it's, like, it's free to have those. And it's, like, it breeds a certain level of competition. Like, so for now, like, Epic is... It seems annoying, but, like, the goal here is, like, you know... Provide incentive. Like, if Epic does something better than Steam, somehow. I don't know how. Because well, Steam is already so well-established. games, like, like, uh, title games, like, uh every month or something like that yeah like i think the first game they gave out was like subnautica which is like a pretty big name i think yeah i mean i think it's it's just it's just natural so long as capitalism is still here <laughs> revolution when ah oh, god but yeah that's just that's just the way it goes FBI, open up. Yeah, but if if Epic fails, then like that's that just proves Steam is too powerful to topple, for now. Hmm. Yeah, I mean like, it's good. Like I've heard, you know, plenty of people are just complaining about Valve just kind of being lazy for the past few yeah. years. Yeah. And yeah, I guess like they're not making any games. Yeah. Because they they don't need to. They just have Dota two and they have Steam, and it's like okay. Wait, are we not gonna talk about how Discord has like their own game service? Going yeah, on? yeah, they do too. I mean, that's what the, Discord's also in on it. So it's like, yeah. So much, dude. Just, I, I mean, if if we're gonna have like, all these different like apps and stuff, can't they just like conglomerate into like one menu? Or like, well, then someone's gonna have to make a service that conglomerates them all into one menu. Somebody <laughs> do that. Somebody's gonna. I mean, like, is that even like what they? And then they have they have to accept it. I mean, I do. Which have... actually, no, that 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 wouldn't even no, because that's already what they are. Kind of, they're stores. I mean, <laughs> you're to... asking to like build like an online mall. I mean, to be but fair, what, that wouldn't make it. Any... Yeah, what? Uh, like at least for like Discord, sometimes like what we'll have is we'll have like a bar of your like recently played games, and you can just like launch it from there. But yeah, I, mean, I don't know. But that's just like what you've already bought, all right? Yeah. That's just the tying to what you bought. Like if you're talking about like combining the stores, like what? Oh, you mean no, that, that, yeah. that goes against. Yeah, because they're competing. They're combining they're the stores, but just like put them in one place where you can like pick and choose where you want to go. Pick and choose where you want to. I don't know. Would that work? Would that be what they would? Because because I don't know. I haven't actually. I haven't really thought much about. I just know that it's like. They are competitors. This makes this makes perfect sense to me, even if I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, like, I, it could work. It could work because it's like it's not like that. That's uncommon where you, they have like competitors all within the same roof. But it would be a lot better on the consumer. I mean, what would it? What? But would it? Like, what would it look like? You just, you just go. You have three different apps. You open each of them, and then you just like look for the game you want. Or you can just have one app, and it has like icons of like the different services. And you just like, hmm, I want to buy something from the Epic Store. And you just like click on Epic, and yeah. But who would who would maintain that? And like, how would they? Whoever makes 
But that's just because it like it costs money to like have like, you know, a server. That's the thing. Well, there could be like a like they get like, like a small you're... fee, not like a small fee, but like a small like portion of sales, like maybe. Small Wait, a small portion of no, but then, but then, no. The problem with that is then it's cutting into all of their money. <laughs> like, do do you, it just sounds like this just sounds like Steam, and then you're like, say, okay, now there's multiple Steams, so like, let's make a super Steam. Like, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> that's not because you're just like, and it doesn't really do anything except like, it just it just turns it from one app to to three to three apps under one app. Because when you open their store, you'd still have, you'd still have like, have to open like that app. You're still opening that app. Like I don't know what it'd be like, what it'd be saving exactly. I'm not exactly. I I don't know. Maybe like maybe something. But I no. I I don't can't really wrap my head around that idea. Was have you ever heard of Overwolf? Hmm. Overwolf. No, I'm not. It's, it's like a. It's like Discord before Discord, where it's like you can play a game. It has like an overlay, and it has like a, you're able to access like different services like uh, Skype and Teamspeak, whatever. Well, yeah, those are different services, right? Like, yeah, but it's like accessible over Overwolf. Yeah. So, like, oh, so what is Overwolf for? Gaming, like, if you, it's like an overlay. Cause like I know like cause like with Discord it's like you just you connect things to like you connect your Twitter you can connect your your Spotify and etc etc etc, right or your um, Reddit account or whatever. Yeah. But like those aren't like direct. Com they're Discord's not like directly necessarily directly competing with all those things. Well, it's not so thing. like you're asking. You're asking for like, and also like Discord isn't. I don't think Discord like takes a cut from like, because Discord has its own thing going on. Discord has its yeah, like chat thing going the on. The thing is, Discord isn't hosting them. Discord is has links to them. That's the thing. So you're just asking for an overlay that it's links not... that it provides a link to to each of the th three stores, but like. Well, I'm not asking for like it's like an app, but it's like it's kind of like Overwolf for like not like an overlay, but it's like you can just go there and it's like within like that app you can access the different stores within that app instead of like just clicking and it's just like a fancy button that opens up the app anyways for like something more structured and more streamlined instead of just having like your so search all three stores at the same time. Yeah. I don't. I don't know because like, I don't know how that would work. I don't know how they would get where they would get that, or, or like if the companies like Valve would even agree to it and shit like that. You know, because like Valve is already a, no, because isn't that that's already what Steam is? Like Steam is like where all these different companies are providing or are like putting their game up there, and then they get to sell it on this in this Steam store, store, and then Steam gets to just. Steam gets a cut. That's already what Steam is doing. I don't think Steam would agree to someone else doing the exact same thing to them. Or Valve in this case. Well, I really don't see it like that. To see it as like a fancy hosting. But that's, that's not... See, it doesn't matter if you don't see it like that. That's. I think that's what, it, that, that's what it'd be. So it's just like... Valve would not agree to like... Unless they unless they maintain all their profits, in which case, like, I don't know how would how would that service like? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. So I mean, I'm not I'm not like computer science or anything. Yeah. I'm only electrical. Actually, I really should know this shit, but I'm like, <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what do you think? I think yeah. I'm gonna have to like join some blueprints. <laughs> I mean, because yeah, like <laughs> either understand. either you have to like uh, yeah get permission from the company, say like, hey, can we like let people just like web search across all the like your competitors' platforms, or do we uh, like because like the alternative, I guess, would just be like to have like the database of all the games 
for each of the services but like that that's pretty intensive to like i don't know if they'd have that like server side or client side because like, yeah that's that's to... one thing like they have to run if they're running it on like their own server like they'd have to maintain that server yeah and that would be and like to maintain a server and like have multiple this is a strange idea i've never heard because like they're yeah it's like it's like paying one it's like oh what if we just paid one subscription for netflix disney plus and all those other things for like that that's not how it works yeah. that's not how capitalism works <laughs> not pay for all of them it's just like have you know just have like access to like the ones that you want right there for you yeah you could subscribe to tv like, shows you, you, instead of tv providers <laughs> just have wait what if we have like a bunch of different channels and each channel is like its own it's, it's like netflix channel and like that then it's just like it just becomes like super cable Dude, <laughs> it's like what 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 and we've gone full circle <laughs> it's just yeah the the entire yeah i don't know it's just like when people just try to have exclusives like that just kind of bogs down the experience i think of like hey i'm getting this only because this one thing i like and i'm not really going to touch anything else on that's it. what they want <laughs> they want because there's going to be most people are going to be like that but then there's going to be like 10 5 10 percent who are like oh that game actually looks interesting let me try this game that i would never have tried or like even notice if i wasn't that if i hadn't downloaded this specific service that was throwing it and it's like screaming it like in my face through advertisements mm-hmm. and that's all they need that's that's really yeah so like, the solution is to seize the means of production and overthrow the bourgeoisie. There we go. All right. Yeah. Until then, you can enjoy having five different Steam store versions and like ten or TV you, streaming services. A cheeky cunt and just use the ad game feature on Steam. Just you could just like pirate. Games I mean, that's you could just pirate doing, right? kind of, I mean, everything I as much as possible, <laughs> if you really want. Is this just possible to just add Photoshop to your Steam and play Photoshop? Yeah. But yeah, just wrapping things up for gaming. Uh, the Fallout seventy six content update. And I know I'm the only one here that really plays seventy six, but I kind of yeah, because who the fuck plays seventy six anymore? Yeah, dude, you know, <laughs> <laughs> after that after the whole all the memes and shit like people still play that game i guess there's there's enough people on this planet i imagine yeah. like the whole three people still playing the game are probably just like waiting to see like how far it'll really really get a sucker is born every minute and just like this <laughs> so. because the thing i kind of want to talk about it with it is that uh like i guess since we can kind of compare it to battlefront you have like two like pretty different ways of adding content because Battlefront uh-huh. is like, hey, every month we're gonna have like this update that adds a new hero or new like appearances yeah. and stuff. And so. And like, then what's seventy six doing? So like what they've said is that they have like a a roadmap that basically has all of the content just like jam packed into like about one or two weeks, where like each day you'll update. And so, okay. Like, I mean, not I bad. because like, we, we like <laughs> the amount of time that I was just spent like waiting for this for like any can- content because this is the first time we've gotten any new content to the game like since mm-hmm. release they haven't added anything so yeah. like content wise just mainly fixes but I mean just kind of like comparing I guess since you know like if it's not all in one update then you, they don't just get bored and leave or. I don't know. I don't know what the approach to it is, but I feel like I think that's the idea. Yeah, they want to drag it out. Firstly, because like it, it, it lets it makes players like it, it gives players like a little piece of candy that to dangle. I mean, like to dangle in front of them, and like you know, and then like the players will be like, "Oh, gimme, gimme!" But then like also, it, it allows more time between like if there's like one thing that causes in an update that causes like a something game breaking it's easier to find that thing if the update is smaller and like if you spread it out over time like it gives you more time to like yeah but that also means that you're like not confident in your ability to catch these bugs 
Yeah. Or like the big game, like the particularly bad ones. And you're not confident that like enough that like the players already enjoy the game enough that even if you have these little bugs, they won't like matter. So yeah. Because yeah, like my thing kind of is just that uh, like the first, basically what they've done for the first day of it was they added in uh, two new things for like being able to craft like beers and wines they've added like two new locations and a quest line for them and like all of that uh-huh. is about 30 gigabytes worth but, yeah I mean, that's, that's a sizable chunk i guess but, uh, yeah like, i mean back you know, i mean you know what they call the content updates like way back in there's... gaming they call them expansion packs you paid like 20 like 20 dollars for like a, a new disc that will like add more content I was to your to say that. <laughs> computer like that's that's how the old Command and Conquerors did it. Every like Command and Conquer had like a fucking expansion pack. StarCraft had Brood War, you know. It's like shit like that. I mean, even StarCraft Two followed that, and then I felt like when StarCraft Two came out and started doing that, it was like it was almost like a kind of slightly outdated ish model of like, oh, here's a new campaign and here's like a f- two new units per race. And it's just like, okay, pay us thirty, forty dollars. It's like. Eh. Now everyone's into like DLC and shit like that. Or and then and then pass. that's what it is. Now. That's the hard yeah. Or, thing. I mean, well, like battle pass, like paying like the battle pass to like have all the DLCs afterwards, right? And like and then it's gone from like not just now it's not just DLC, but like you have games that are just like updating patch by patch, like like with the MOBAs and like the uh, Overwatch shit. You have like new hero added new character added per three or like five patches you know yeah that's so like it's 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 become more streamlined because companies can do that because now they can do everything like everything is like wired through the internet so it's just like they can just download it into your machine that way rather than you have to go out to walmart to buy a disc or something like that so yeah, that's technology. It's probably cheaper, like downloading it than like uh, getting like a disc too, because like probably capturing cost and all of that. Yeah, that's pretty epic. All right. What so, costs the most is is it, it's like the disc reader that costs the most and takes up the most space, right? Like takes up a lot of space. That's where a lot of the cost comes from. I think I don't know. Well, on to what's becoming a pretty big thing in the podcast now, uh, talking Marvel. James Gunn's back, oh. so I guess Disney just realized that, you know, this guy's actually, you know, a pretty good director, and we shouldn't just throw so him out. They never because... planned to replace him. That's what the reports say. They never planned on replacing him. He was just fired, I guess. I mean, I don't really care, because, like everyone it's gonna be like a blame game of like oh i didn't want him fired it's like i don't give a shit i don't i don't it's like i could believe you but like do i do i really need to like get even get involved in this as like a consumer it's like i don't care (laughs) the only good for this is is to predict like oh you know i'm gonna guess that this person moving to like going from disney to some other company is gonna be a good move or a bad move like that's it's like a guessing game because ultimately i don't really care about those people or phage or like whatever like I mean, they are kind of important to like making yeah but they're important because they make things for me <laughs> that's it as human beings like ultimately like you know some empathy but it's just like they're so distant and removed they don't know me so i don't feel obligated to like really think about oh who's the good guy and who's the bad guy here you know, I just care that what happens, what comes out, what they shit out on the other end is gold rather than kind shit. Of like a shitty way <laughs> to like live because like even if somebody's not really like connected to you, uh, you should still like. To some extent, I guess. To some okay. extent. Because they didn't really do anything wrong. They're, like, they're trying to entertain you. Like that's what they do. They put that effort for it to, you know, give you that escapism when you watch a movie. Then it's just, but it's just like, it's just, it's just like, I'm talking about like, when it comes to, when it comes to like, who is the good guy, who's the bad guy here? It's like, 
entertaining maybe to like talk about but like i don't i don't i don't ultimately know these people at all there's so many things that go behind go on behind the scenes that like don't don't really just you'll never know you'll never know them truly so it's just like at that point and like that's that goes that's also about the thing about like with like um video game companies and like stuff like and like because like that same sort of like oh i know these people they're my friend is like they they want companies want you to believe that but also that can turn into like oh they betrayed me when in reality it's like it's not it's just business oh they released diablo immortal like oh that was like such a terrible like that it's bad sure but it's also it's just business good not bad, personal kid. made up words yeah just business can live free <laughs> it's for real though i mean Unless you want to talk about, like, the systematic evil of whatever, sis, like, whatever, you know, what, I don't know, something. But, like, individually, like, I don't, I don't think there's, like, any clear, super, like, villainy going on here. But, yeah, I mean, James Gunn was fired because some, probably someone at some Disney thing was like, oh, yeah, that looks bad, okay, let's all fire him, and then so there's some, probably some of those people i don't know who exactly some of those people might have been like wait don't do that aside from the actors who have like come out and like supported him right but like well, he has agents that were like saying like chief uh it's in the past you know he apologized but you should give him a chance like yeah to keep begging for him to get another chance yeah he had like agents and shit yeah so it's just like but ultimately he's back he's gonna make guardians 3 it's gonna be hopefully good <laughs> As good as the previous ones, and um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. Marvel's best uh, series going on. Yeah, it is. It's uh, yeah, I'd say so. And then, but he's also he's already he because like I think that he's already made stuff because like, he's already made Suicide started Suicide Squad. How far are they on the new Suicide Squad thing? I think he finished directing and writing. Damn. Yeah. I mean, I'd be intrigued. Honestly, I don't really care like that. I guess DC has like the bad reputation, so it might just turn out to be shit again. But I think it might be like know. shitty, but like entertaining nonetheless. Oh, you mean like the MCU? <laughs> I wow, dude, you read my mind. <laughs> nah, yeah, it's probably chance that it's gonna be worse, still worse than like I your just average feel MCU like it's movie. It's gonna be like DC's Guardians because just, just think about it. I mean. It's a it's a group of like misfits, and they're like working for one goal. You know? Yeah, but it's gonna be darker, presumably. It's just gonna be guardians, but like shittier, and probably darker. Edgier and kind of like Rogue One, where it's like you know expendable. I don't know. Oh yeah, a bunch of characters like yeah. I mean, who knows, dude? Dark gangster. <laughs> dude, I'd love I'd love for it. I would love for it to be good though. That yeah. would be nice. I mean, like, do we really benefit? Do, do people really benefit from like? A medium being like bad like you know it's just enter it's literally just entertainment you know something for people to enjoy it's like oh i really hope that this is awful and i don't want it to ever succeed yeah you know, it's just you know teach their own yeah because i like the premise i like the premise of suicide squad it's like edgy as hell but it's like fun and like i like i like amanda waller i like the whole like the the brain chip bomb thing and like, and like it's like just the classic of like every time there's gonna be that one character, expendable character who's just like, hey, like I don't, I don't believe like you're you're bluffing, and then she like pulls the trigger and blows his head off, and it's just like, ha, <laughs> yeah. Because I, <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's like their kind of approach, like, hey, DC or like a uh, Marvel is like you know able to mix in like funny and dark and like. You know some questionable yeah. characters but you know why don't we do that because you know it's... i don't know i feel like one of my things like i feel like with mcu there's something about mcu movies sometimes where it's just like they have this emotional scene and i just like don't feel as much as i think i should You're it right. just feels kind of rushed 
because like you have like characters you have like a lot of like character stuff going on like just in between movies yeah that's like the big thing about marvel is like they, they, they try to make like a character kind of arc and then try to also make it a spectacle and it's just like it's it doesn't really balance out yeah but like, it's like all the movies land like every movie like something's happening off s- something happened off screen entirely and it's just like sometimes it's not important and it's like okay i guess but like other times it's like oh like what's going on with bucky and like if you're gonna make a, like a really sad thing with bucky then like you could have like bucky be in it more right <laughs> like it's just like before you have the really emotional scene with him you could feature him more in your stories right you know we need captain america doing more cool things Uh, i don't yeah he needs to pull that helicopter man he's got a flex (laughs) on (laughs) he's got to ride the motorcycle with the shield on the front i know because like there's others because there's other superhero movies that like I, i don't i don't know why i just get sucked into more like during like this the sad scenes especially like you know like x-men the first class mm-hmm. you know like when um when the magneto like turns the satellite dish yeah and shit like that like like all well, the whole movie it's just like like when the scenes are like oh this is a badass moment like it's badass and like when it's like this is a really sad moment like it's it's sad it's like and then like i don't it's it's kind of more muted. It feels with some MCU scenes. It's like this badass moment's also like, oh, that's funny, and like this this sad moment's like, oh, so that's that was a funny joke. <laughs> it's just like because yeah, Marvel I and mean, the MCU doesn't really have that balance. It's just flashy stuff, and like sometimes there's like a character moment. It feels like, like I don't know. They do have they do have like good character. The, the good character work like within like the, the what they show like but it's just like what they show is feels still incomplete like there's not enough time it's like oh iron man is split from pepper oh okay pepper's back and it's just like okay yeah i, th- I feel like a Did lot you of read us... the prequel comic can you fucking scrub yeah i feel like a lot of <laughs> like... the uh, mcu's like character arcs just get like reset for each movie and it's like hey, spider-man the whole and thing they never again. explain a lot yeah of stuff. and like spider-man's like oh i'm not an event like you know i'm i'm gonna like not take like the the super awesome suit and then infinity war immediately gets like a super awesome suit it's just kind of like and i, I think uh, okay. the problem is the guardians being like it. the guardians like hey we're gonna learn teamwork and like we're a family and then like next movie they're all like yelling at each other about having small dicks <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty much how it just goes with the Guardians. Well, I think, yeah, I think they, maybe that's just like their family dynamic where they're just like. That's their family dynamic. Yeah, they're just like raunchy and just, just kind the of. The smallest of dicks. Penis. <laughs> but then. Yeah, shit, like. Also, they never explain what happened to Natalie Portman besides she just left Thor. Well, I mean, Dead you know, weight, some some battles, some battles, you just you just gotta like cut, yeah, you just gotta axe it. Some battles aren't worth fighting for. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> why I like about Ragnarok, like how much you just like kind of cut out, like yeah, we don't need the rest this, of the floor. Like... <laughs> yeah, they, they just they just need to like maybe like I don't know this fucking reference things passing make make things feel more connected. And maybe like if things are a little bit more connected, there might be like an emotional weight there. Eh, no, I can. I'm gonna disagree with that because I feel like that's what they, that's what's already they're they're doing that fine. It's like an interconnected universe. It's simply a matter of they they only have this many movies that they're releasing per year, and they're going from and like like that's the that's like the insane thing, right? It's like. They, this is, you've never had this many, like, Marvel movies as part of one series, but it still doesn't feel enough. It still doesn't feel enough for me, at least. I feel like I almost, I almost need, like, more. I need, like, six movies per year to, like, cover all the different characters they're throwing in and adding and making it important. That's the thing. They're, like, having these important moments with these characters, like, 
Scarlet who? Scarlet Witch? It's like, oh, she was the bad. Oh, okay, she now she's good. Oh, okay, never mind. It's just kind of like... <laughs> And Bucky is just like, oh, he's here. It's like, okay, he's good now. Oh, okay, he's in this place now. Oh, he's immediately thrown into this new plot. And we have no idea how he's changed since Winter Soldier. And it's just like, okay. And and now he's like, and it's just, yeah. I mean, they do kind of like explain Bucky. They explain, but like, I don't, it's just, it's just, it doesn't have that weight. <laughs> yeah, it's just to like me. chunky storytelling. It's just like they just throw like a three pieces of meat instead of like just one whole like piece of meat. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how they. I don't know how they'd fix that because like it's not like you can make that many movies per year, like feasibly, like you know, pump that much out per year. Maybe it might get better with the the Disney streaming service, and they're putting out like TV shows. stuff. Yeah, they're putting out like, sure. Why not? And with that'd be better. That's better than nothing. Characters. It's better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like they, they're kind of, like, investing less into, like, the, like, rewatchability of them. Just be like, hey, let's just, like, try to, like, knock it out of the park on the first one so you don't even need to watch it m- multiple times. <laughs> just, like, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Because then yeah. it just makes it feel like you're not really that invested yeah. in it at some point. Yeah. I don't know. I was never invested. <laughs> no. Nah. I, never really I was only, I'm only here. I'm only here for Downey Jr. <laughs> that's actually that actually might be partly true. I'm just here for Tony Stark. Mm-hmm. Once he's gone, it's just like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. Can I introduce you to our newest addition to the MCU, Spider-Man? But he's actually really shitty. <laughs> Please like him. <laughs> we put a lot of money into this deal. Oh yeah, Jake Jake, Jake Gil Jake Gyllenhaal is playing um. Stereo. Oh yeah, that. What? For um the for the new the, the second. Yeah. Spider. Who's she? Do you not know Jake Gyllenhaal? No. He's done uh. For some reason, I can't think of any. I can't think of any name except Nightcrawler right now. But like, and not What's the super. No, not the superhero. It's a, it's a movie called Nightcrawler. It's, it's completely not. At all related with X Men. Nice. Okay. No, you don't lost even. Me, Chief. If it ain't Marvel, I do not know it. Oh my god. I mean, uh, Nocturnal Animals, Nightcrawler, Source Code, End of Watch, Prisoners, Southpaw. Anything? Do you. Do, do, no? I've watched no. some pretty, like, out of like out of the norm movies before, but I've never heard of these. Uh. Okay, let me think. Oh, right, Brokeback Mountain. The gay cowboys movie? Okay, never mind. Jarhead? No. Have you not seen Jarhead? No. Are you serious? I'm really uncultured, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. You better be sorry. uh, The Day After Tomorrow? Oh. What? Movies oh yeah, he's he's the he's the son. I'm pretty sure. I guess I. Know. I think he's the son. Hmm. Who's Jake Gyllenhaal? He's Sam Hall. He's yeah. He's he's the yeah. He's he's the main character's son. He's like the guy trapped in the college in like the in New York. In the library. So there you go. Oh wow! Thanks, dude. Now I know who Jake Gyllenhaal is. Jake Gyllenhaal. I think it's Jake Gyllenhaal. I've only heard it pronounced Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Jelly Jiggler. Yeah. J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> I want pictures of Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Best thing about Rami Trilogy, to be honest. <laughs> uh, Rami tri- God damn it. Rami. <laughs> just Rami die. Like, it's, it, I'm pretty sure it's just become like the running joke at this point about like mispronunciating everything. So but just... you don't have to continue it. <laughs> Wait, what's it say? Rami? Rami. Rami, okay. Rami. <laughs> like rain. And then Rami. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Right. Well, J.K. Uh... Simmons is a gift to the world. <laughs> But yeah, like, uh, guess we can just... Chiefs. 
Oh yeah, movie. Captain Marvel, right? Yeah. Because like you haven't, I haven't seen it, but I don't care. Yeah. Because I don't, I'm immune to spoilers. Because obviously, I know all plots already. I mean, because that, I mean, I, that's smart. I don't really get like <laughs> if like looking at like the movie itself, it d- doesn't really make sense. Like what all like the backlash is about about like people mm-hmm. protesting, except for maybe like oh, the actor said some stuff about. White guys. I mean, it makes perfect sense to me. People are fucking sexist. Like that's that's just <laughs> to me. Like that just that's just like not obviously not all of them. That's just are like you outing yourself, Mister. The the amount the volume of criticism is just like is is related. I think is definitely related to her her you know, her sex. I think it, I don't know the full story, but it was like something she said on some magazine. Some people are like interpreting as a. Uh, like, oh yeah, because she said something about like, oh, I don't want us to be like old, old white dudes or something like that. And it's just like, like okay, hmm, yeah, because ammunition. Because I think that was like about her uh, saying about why. Uh, what's the name it's of like, it? That that what that movie that Oprah Winfrey was in. Uh, um, R- Wrinkle in Time. Oh yeah, that yeah, one that I heard was like a meme. Yeah, because like people were saying like, oh, like, because like, I don't know, their, their thing about it was her saying that it's that all the movies are reviewed by white dudes. Yeah, guess, like, and that they're the biased problem. by their experiences, et cetera, et cetera. So they're like, oh, you have a problem with white dudes? We're going to use yeah. that against you. Um, yeah. yeah <laughs> I mean, but like the thing is like, even even if you like really disagree, like you should be able to separate the like, actor from the movie. Yeah. The actor from the movie. Like, she's not the only one in the movie. There's, like, a bunch of people who worked on the movie. Yeah. And this like, goes into the whole... Em- this goes into your, your thing about empathy, Cammy. See, I feel... I do feel empathy for the people who actually worked on the movie. <laughs> You're becoming less like a robot and more like a human being. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. It's just... Like, movies are group projects and ultimately there's like a few faces involved and ultimately you can't know exactly how much each person contributed just like a real fucking school group project <laughs> god damn it fucking just flash i've been on both sides of like the the laziness like carried or carrying mm-hmm. <laughs> carried or care being carried or carrying like the group <laughs> With, yeah, yeah, but it's just yeah. There's like a lot of people working on movies, yeah. So it's like, yeah. So I mean, and plus she's just an actor of all things. So it's like not really much influence like directly on the movie. Yeah, yeah. So actually, good. Yeah, that's the thing. Replace all the white males now. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's just like. I, I I mean I I did read some reviews and they seemed like oh they're kind of like lukewarm it's like oh you know it's like more MCU or like they were like ah you know it's more MCU. like it, it's it's like they all had a similar sentiment it's just how much how positive they were about the sentiment just like and it's like it feels like almost like a reflection of how much they like MCU it's like oh this is just like all the other MCU and then like the other person would be like oh this is just all this is just like all the other MCU, <sighs> like that. I, it's just... I absolutely loathe fucking Captain Marvel. I think it's one of the worst movies because it is literally <laughs> like one of those movies where it's just blind, like sp- spectacle. Like there's just nothing to it. It's just fucking spectacle, and it's like people supposed to buy it. And I really don't. I don't like that movie. It's just, like nothing. It's interesting, like, Captain Marvel isn't interesting, like, a lot of stuff going on with... Her. Okay, so so the plot point is that she's Kree. Yeah. Well, no, right? that she's and then human. She... And then... Oh, she's human. And then she... Wait, so she was human first, and she was, like, an Air Force pilot, right? Yeah, and then, like, when she was, uh... She, like, shot the fuel cell to an experimental aircraft, which... And then... Blew up and she, like, turned into a Kree, and she got amnesia... Wait, like, wait. So she, so how did she end up on the Cree, whatever? Like, well, because like the, the, the Cree came to like, they figured out that she was working with the um, the scrolls. They, the scrolls. So they came to like kill. They killed her, and then, uh, Marvel got the powers, and then they thought, okay, we're gonna bring her in, and I don't know. I, I feel like it's implied that they wiped her mind, but I don't know if no, it was the powers that they got. Did. She just got amnesia. 
Mm. So she just got amnesia. So I mean, so okay, so she was the pilot. She went to the experiment thing, yeah. and then she got amnesia. Yeah. So okay, because I think Greg Barron's kind of paraphrasing, but like there's this lady. Her name's Marvel. Yeah. And she's Cree. She's on Earth working with the scrolls to get them out of the system because the Kree are actually the bad guys and they want to kill the scrolls. So okay. she makes like a, a ship that has like a sort of like hyperdrive on it. Uh huh. But the Kree invade Earth and they're like trying to shoot Carol and the lady while they're like working the ship out of the sky. Oh, so they kill the lady, then uh, yeah. Carol becomes Kree. Yeah, Carol gets the gun that she was going to shoot, and she shoots the fuel cell of the ship, and she gets infused with the Kree, like, powers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, and then, and then yeah. And then she comes back. She's fighting the scrolls, but actually the scrolls are... The good guys. And, wait, really? They made the scrolls good? Yeah, the scrolls are, like, immigrants. They want to get the fuck out of the system, because... The oh, I thought, I, like, scrolls are, like, in the comics, scrolls are, like, yeah, bad, right? Yeah. That's what I like. That's why I was like kind of like uh, surprised about because I always thought like when he was like approaching uh, Carol about making a deal, I always thought it was kind of like a uh, he's gonna like stab her in the back or some shit like that. But it's like no, he's actually like the good guy. <laughs> I don't know. Topical because... immigration topics. <laughs> and... well, well, when wow. You about it, uh, Relevant. They, neither the Cree or the scrolls were good, so it's like it doesn't really matter to me. Oh, so so they're so they're still both badish, right? Yeah, I mean, because I I kind of when I first heard the thing I mean, about like the, the, comics, the scrolls being they're... good, it was like they they kind of laid that fun. ambush at the at the <laughs> start of it and like tried to kill everyone, but then like, <laughs> hey, no, they're actually refugees. They yeah. were only like That's okay. you like for fun. So this is so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then in the end, and in the end, she just like stops both sides or something like that. Well, yeah, she basically, like, helps the Kree, uh, like, stops the Kree invasion, and then helps the, uh, scrolls get away. Oh, wait, seriously? The part about this movie is that they brought back Ronin for him to do absolutely nothing. I nothing? Think. I heard that, too. <laughs> and also, Marvel was originally a dude, but, like, I don't really care about that. I think that was a pretty yeah, big tip-off that there would be cares. a twist, though. It's like, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure Ronin's not gonna be a good guy, so only assume what's gonna be happening next. <laughs> Yeah, but it's just like I feel like wait in the comics are the Kree like the Kree aren't like evil right like they're they're militaristic of course but it's just like the scrolls are like also pretty bad. They're they're both evil. Yeah, they're both evil. But in, in here the scrolls are good. Yeah, not not that they're good, but they're just innocent people who want to get out of Dodge because the Kree wants to take over them and they don't want to be taken over. So they're good, because <laughs> that's what it sounds like. I guess if you would call it like trying to survive good, then yeah. <laughs> they're they're on. They have the moral high ground here. Yeah, I mean, because yeah. like the thing is, it's, it's never... over. It's Cree. I have the moral high ground. No, but like for real. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because like the thing is, like most of what you hear about the scrolls being bad is the Cree saying that the scrolls are bad and that they need to be okay. eradicated. Okay. So it's, like... it's just it's just it's just a bit hard to wrap my head because like i because I, 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 I do hang out with like people who know comics and like scrolls are like not that great no they are not good at all <sighs> in the comics yeah and then you had like game three make that epic video about like oh who's actually a scroll on the avengers and then just turns out you know they they kind of just <laughs> got out of dodge as, as soon as the film ended so there goes that Hmm, that I does sound kind of lame. The, the first Kree invasion, not the Kree, the Skrull invasion in the comics, and it's like, oh, by the way, fucking Electra's a Skrull. <laughs> it's just like, alright, so how long was she a Skrull? <laughs> this entire time. Yeah. We just gotta get rid of these characters. We just gotta get rid of all these characters. I mean, I, I feel like there was kind of some moments are a bit like a viral is where it's like hey carol's like nickname when she was a fighter pilot was avengers and that's what yeah the for the name that's what this movie so. does it like explains a lot of things that don't need backstory and even then it's lame like you know like how nick fury has a missing eye yeah and it's just the, the, it's because the, yeah, the cat 
Yes, that is fucking stupid. I mean, like, I guess it makes sense. Like, not everything has to be super badass, but it's just like, after everything this movie's done, especially with like the cat eating the fucking tesseract, it's just, just get stop. Because I, mean, I think like, like the, at least my thing with the eye patch was like, you had a. Uh like previous movies where it's kind of like it ties into like what, what he's saying like in Winter Soldier you know how he doesn't trust people because last time he did he lost an eye and then like no it just turns out it's a joke <laughs> it's a point for a joke in uh, this yeah. movie you think losing an eye would be like kind of like an emotional kind of thing but then again MCU is kind of devoid of emotion besides making you haha chuckle chuckle uh, because, I don't know, just to kind of tie it back to Solo as well, that the, uh, his whole thing at the end was like, oh yeah, I lost it to, like, this Kree warrior when I didn't give up the Tesseract. And, like, you know, kind of like the same thing with, like, Lando's character, where you had, like, oh, you know, he must have been good at Sabacc for him to, like, lose to the Falcon, or, you know, had, like, a reputation for it, and then it just turns out, you know, he lied the whole time. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean... Lando always looked kind of shady. Like, yeah, see, I, I think the Lando thing, actually, because, like, Lando's a bitch. <laughs> he's just... Well, you can't say that now. He saved the uh, Rebels from the Death Star 2, dude. Give You're him more credit. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Disney putting Lando in Episode 9. You're gonna kill him, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> It's like that Grim Reaper goes that door to, going door to door. Yeah. It's like Lando's it's next. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, that's how it works. Wow, it's almost like it's it's a meme. It's almost like it's popular. Oh man. Uh, Actually, that kind of br- makes me wonder though, uh, because like they they denied uh, Carrie Fisher repri- being a uh, CGI, right? Or, like the family said no to it. Well, yeah, they did. Yeah, because, like, I mean, like, I was just almost wondering, because, like, you know that they're probably either gonna, I doubt they're not gonna mention her at all, but I imagine it's gonna be, like, some something that happens where, like, oh, she was on that ship that just blew up, but... They said that episode 9 has a lot of Carrie Fisher in it. Hmm. That's what I heard. But they don't have Wait. the rights to do the CGI for her. Wait. So they said it has a they, it has a lot, but like they're just gonna use entirely just like what, whatever footage they like, have still her. have. Yeah. Have of her. That seems strange choice. I mean, that like, seems like a very strange, concerning choice. <laughs> it's kind of like the opposite of like uh, Robin Williams. I said genie. Like after he died, he said, "Oh, by the way, Disney, you can't use my like my voice reels or anything." Yeah. They just have like a bunch of like unused voice reels of. Um, Williams is as the genie. They can't oh, use. It's a big. Yeah. Story. Can you imagine if they were able to do that though, and just get we get live action uh, genie with Robin Williams' voice. <laughs> but it'd be kind of disconnected because a lot of his stuff is just like uh, like quips and whatnot. I mean, maybe I don't entirely mind that trying to preserve your rights over your voice. Just saying, like, no, you cannot use it. Fuck you, Disney. <laughs> but the thing is, like, he, like, there was, like, a thing in the middle where, like, he wasn't talking to Disney because, like, his movie flopped or whatever the fuck. And, like, they apologized to him afterwards and he was cool with them. And then they stopped getting Dan Castan- Castaneda to voice the genie and got Robin Williams back. It's like, you think you'd be cool with them. And it's like, and then when he died, he was like, oh, fuck you, Disney, by the way. It's not, it's just like, it's like a matter of principle, probably. He just doesn't want to, like, you know, doesn't want anyone to use his voice when he, after he's di- after he died for their product. You know. Mm-hmm. Unless it's, like, a fucking Robin Williams, like, documentary, then, like, yeah. They're gonna save his movie that flopped. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just... I don't know. I mean, I heard Sounds it still did pretty reasonable. good. Like, it was, like, in the top charts or something, but... I don't know. Because I, I feel like it's, like, at least the solo boycott at least, like, kind of accomplished something where, like, they said, oh, you know, we're not gonna 
really do any standalone movies now. Are we that... talking about Marvel? Or are we? Or... or what are we talking? Are we talking about what 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 Robin Williams movie? No, he was just cutting back to Captain Marvel. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about Cap- so it's Captain Marvel. Yeah, it didn't really boycott thing. Didn't really fucking work at all. I don't. I don't. Know, I didn't know that there was. I don't know. I just thought it was like a review bomb. Yeah. The thing. The thing why Solo bombed was because nobody like even knew to like go watch it. So like if he, if like it was if it was advertised properly. I mean, yeah. I feel like it was a combination. Of, it was marketing and also the placement. Yeah. It, it came. It came after. Uh, Infinity War and uh, Deadpool two. Yeah. So. so. It's- yeah, and that like that's the only reason why the the boycott worked because it was just like in a really rough spot as it was. But like if it wasn't and people actually like knew it existed, they probably would have watched it. I don't know if that even counts as the boycott working, <laughs> but yeah, sure. <laughs> um, honestly, I feel like yeah, it's like why would you release it at against? your other your own your other studios movie you know Hmm. why would you have infinity war and solo compete so closely with each other because they're both of a similar genre sort of like just like in in similar genre meaning like action popular action like vaguely movie i guess but i don't don't know how like the communication kind of works between them because like they're owned by disney sure but like between no, but and like they're, they're surely like Disney's also surely still ultimately in charge of like determining when it's released, right? Well, I feel that's that'd be the case because like that Disney was the one pushing pushing for it to be released in May at all because they wanted to push it back to winter. They probably should have. Yeah, and then like at worst, uh, in winter last winter it was like Aquaman. Uh, ish right or was like aquaman more yeah that's like december yeah aquaman is december right yeah yeah so then if you have it against aquaman right like even if even if it even if it comes in like number two it's still taking away from aquaman so just from like business perspective Hmm. you don't you'd rather have it take away from your competitor right than your than your own movie, because who knows if by some some point zero five percent no zero zero five percent of people who like who watched Solo didn't watch Infinity War because of so because they they only are willing to watch like a select number of movies per per uh, year. And they chose Solo over Infinity War. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't seem to make much sense why they would do that. <laughs> but, like, like it's just, like, it's just a matter of, you know, or, like, people who watch Infinity War, they only will watch Infinity War and they just skip Solo. Mm-hmm. You know? Because, like, ultimately, people are limited on, like, how much time and money they have. Mm-hmm. They're limited on resources. They have to choose what to watch. Yeah, just to kind of wrap things up, uh, Star's Celebration coming up soon, so... Hope, I mean, I, I de- this is probably where they're gonna, like, announce the title and stuff for it, so... Yeah, so I imagine so. Do, do, you, do you ever go to those? Like, do, do any, either of you ever go to those things? Um, uh, I wanted to go this year, I had plans to, but, you know, sometimes... But just like, just like those celebrations or cons or whatever in general, because, I don't know, I've never been to one. I'd go to one if I had someone to go to with, because, like, there's some that happen uh-huh. kind of locally, but, I don't know, just the times that I have tried to go, I don't really have anyone else to kind of just, like, tag along with. Yeah, so, I don't know. I, I, I've i never Please been to one. Through. Some mods at the Star Wars server, they said they were going. Okay. That's pretty epic. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, it's it's a little ways out for me, and I, I feel like 
could probably like accomplish the same thing by like watching a live stream of it or like yeah that's pretty much how i feel like, that's how will you ask mark hamill questions i don't have any questions for mark hamill yes you do shut up ask him why they let him ruin star wars exactly that's a good one thank you ask him how he truly feels about the last jedi Okay, but how do you really feel? <laughs> Take him into like a private room to like ask him without any like interference from Kathleen Kennedy and Ruin Johnson. Yeah. You're like wearing like a microphone underneath your ch- like your shirt. Yeah. Yeah. The truth. Yeah, and nothing okay. but. Uh, I actually don't really like the movie. It's uh, it goes against the Luke Skywalker character. And then you like sell the clip to a TMC for them to. And you sell it to like a random thirsty YouTuber willing to like disprove it, and then he gets to like a controversy where he like he thinks it's fake. <laughs> like, I don't think it's fake, and he has to, like try and prove it somehow. Dude, that would be like really epic. I could see that happening. Like if if it ever just like happens, I can see like that whole like scandal going down i think that's gonna do it for this podcast thanks for tuning in see you in the next one bye